Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's sea of Thieves action today and I'm going to be showing you how to start or how to get the Bell's Rat Adventures and this week's or this fortnight's is the Skeleton Thrones. So this is going to be a little guide on how to start and how you basically start on the mission to do the Skeleton Thrones. So let's check it out. Okay, so welcome back to my channel. Like I said, we're going to be showing you how to do the Belge Rat Adventures. This is the Skeleton Thrones one. It's the first one they brought, and they're going to be called the Belge Rat, Belge Rat Adventures from now on. Obviously, they'll have their own separate titles. Like I say, this one is Skeleton Thrones. Uh, so, what is the Skeleton Thrones? There are 10 Skeleton Thrones hidden across the map. Five are small, and five are big. With the small ones, you need to just sit on them yourself using the sitter mode. So, for example, here we go. You just sit on them like that using the sitter mode and yourself has to do them. If you're in a sloop, both crew members need to be doing it for the single ones. And for the big ones, you need to find another crew member. So, uh, anyone on the opposite side. So it's working together as a team again, uh, maybe trying to build an alliance. Uh, and again, you just need one other person to sit with you from another crew to get the big ones done. Now before we obviously get to that, you need to know how to start the quest off to a degree. Uh, and again, he's going to be talking to Duke here, he's part of the Belge Rats, as you can see by his uh, wonderful tattoo. Uh, so now we've got a new store as well. Uh, there is a new currency called doubloons, which is what the Belge Rats deal with. They don't bother about gold, they only deal in the doubloons. Uh, so you obviously can see what's new around here. It will tell you that the Belge Rats have cooked up a challenge for you to explore. Um, scavenge the parts across we they've built 10 thrones in tricky places easy for us to reach but for you uh, not so i'll show you what they are selling as well <clears throat> there's a potential to get 100 doubloons in this uh in this weekly challenge and you can spend them however you feel uh you've got 20 for each item of clothing and they're looking pretty cool the dress the kusher hat and the jacket you could obviously spend those doubloons on getting some gold, you exchange them for gold, and you can spend 30 to get some XP, although I do not know how much XP uh, you would get for it. So you're probably wondering that there is no clues to what you are going to have to do. So you go to your reputation and as you can see there is a new commendation line. This is where you're going to get your clues. So we're just going to go through them, as you can see I've done my small ones here. Um, they're they're, they're not that easy to do, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, as you can see here, we've got Rest in the Cove's Secret Throne. So that's your clue for that one. Plunder the Secret Throne. Uh, sit in the throne amongst the wreckage and so on and so on. So the clue is inside of the commendations re uh, tab sort of thing. And that's how you're going to have to work out exactly where about the, uh, the skeleton thrones are. Now... I don't want to ruin your fun, so I'm not going to show you any of the locations as such, but you can literally get this information online now. You can get it on the forums, uh, so it's not going to be that difficult to actually obtain where these thrones are. So I'm going to show you on the map, but I'm not going to tell you where they are. So one is at Devil's Ridge. One is at Thieves Haven. These are the small ones first, I might add. There is an Uncharted one. And you want to be going to... This is probably one of the difficult ones, if you didn't know. But it's N10. There is one at Hidden Springs. And there is one at Mermaid's Hideaway. They are the small ones that you can do on your own. You don't require uh, a, an alliance crew member to sit there with you. The ones that you do require a crew member to sit with you from another team is a Plunder Outpost. Shipwreck Bay Cannon Cove Oh good old Cannon Cove Smugglers Bay A big giant map there That's going to be fun to find I'm, I'm sure of it And the last one is at Marauder's Arch So there are the locations Of all of where the thrones are. I'm like I say, I'm not going to tell you exactly where they are. 
uh, because the big ones I haven't actually found myself. The little ones I have, I don't want to ruin your fun, but they're the locations. Uh, and basically, like I say, you just go over there, you will see the throne. The picture is in the thumbnail of what they look like. Uh, you'll notice when you load in, it'll show you a picture of what they look like as well, so you know what you've got to look for. Uh, and then you just use the emotion, the emoji or the emote, uh, sit, and you just go and sit on the thrones, and you have done it. You get a commendation for each one. Each one varies. The small ones give eight, the large ones give twelve, and like I say, you get up to a hundred. So if you bought all the costumes, it would be sixteen. You'd be left with forty. You can choose to keep those uh, doubloons. They may, you may be able to roll them over. Uh, and spend something that we might need more in the future. So I'm going to hold on to mine because I don't need gold. I don't need reputation uh, because I'm nearly at the full pirate legend now. But hopefully this has been handy for you. Uh, just a little tutorial on how to do this week's Skeleton Thrones Belge Rat Adventures. If it's been helpful for you, please do hit the like button, subscribe, share, all the good stuff. And I, I would much appreciate that. So yep, yeah, that's it. Hopefully it's been helpful. Thanks for watching today and have a great rest of the day.